PTE AV Studio 11 contains a number of new slide styles and transitions, but there's also a couple of other related improvements. Let's take a look. Let's start with transitions and photo flip. This transition has four directions, and if we select it from our project options, which are our global settings for the entire show, we can select a random selection of all four variants of this transition. If we decide to select this via slide options, then of course we can apply one variant to just those images we highlight. Now this transition also has four different versions. The first of which is directional blur, but we can apply it either standard as you can see here, or we can apply directional blur full, which just increases the amount of blur. And the same thing with blur with bokeh. We get the opportunity to have a standard setting or the full setting. Here in the slide list, I've dragged down a couple of slides to demonstrate the shape transition changes. We've always been able to place a shape transition from one image to another, but it's much easier now. What I want to do with this image is to have a shaped transition, probably a circle, coming up right over the top of that tower. So with the image selected, I'm going to go into my slide options. Now the transition tab is what we need, and we need to choose shapes. We have three shapes, nothing changes there. So I'm going to remain with the circle and I'm going to have my transition coming from the center. But the only way in the past to really determine exactly where that needs to be was to drop the thickness of the smoothing line to zero and using a bit of trial and error here, we could get it perfectly placed. But now we have a little hyperlink here. If I click that and move up onto the picture surface, I can put exactly where I need that selection to be. Quick and easy, let's click OK, I'll increase the transition time and we'll take a look. Now I have slowed down the transition for the shape here, but it will allow us to see clearly exactly where it appears. It's quite an effective transition but we're going to move on next to looking at a quick style. Now I brought you back into the slide list here to take a look at another new option in PTE AV Studio 11 called Quick Style. You can see I've got five images in the slide list here. Only one of them contains a little bit of animation. So with that image highlighted, I'm going to open this up in the Objects and Animation screen. Now I'm going to take you through exactly what I've done here. It's pretty simple. In the first keyframe, the image is off screen. As the cursor moves to the first one, it drops at the top left of the screen. There's a gap where nothing happens, but between the next keyframe, it gradually moves to the right, comes to a stop, before the next image takes over. What I'd like to do is to copy that exact animation to those other images. So let's close down the objects and animation screen and take a look at this new option. So the new option just copies the animation from one slide to one or a number of other slides, but it will not change the slide duration time or any synchronization. So to apply it, we select the slide that contains the animation, go to slide at the top left of the screen and choose create quick style. Then we can select one or a number of other slides, go back to the same option and apply it. And there you can see it's been applied to all of them but it hasn't changed the slide duration, that remains at seven seconds. And if this was a synchronized slideshow, the position of these images in the timeline would not have been changed. 
Now this is a small change but an important one that's been requested for quite some time. Now before we look at new slide styles, let's take a look at another change that's been added to the slide style manage window. So here we are back in the slide list. Let's imagine that I want to add a slide style that requires three images. If I hold the control key, I can select all three images. I can go to my styles and themes. Now, if we go to the creative, once we're in this box and we're starting to look around, we can see that there's an option here for four pictures, but I've only selected three. In the past, we would close the window, go back, select the fourth, come back into this window and apply. Now we can make the change here. Down at the bottom right, we've got a little up arrow. And now you can see the three images that I selected. So what I can do with the little cross here is select another. I'd need to navigate to wherever I'm going to, but let's just assume here that it's this location. So I'm going to select the image. There you can see it applied. So now I can select the four picture slide style without any difficulty. But it also allows us to change the running order and that can be quite important for some slide styles. For example, I may want this one to be in that position. Or I may change my mind completely and as you can see by the little cross, we can remove images here too. Closing down these new options, we move on to the new slide styles that are available in PTE 11. Maybe more will be added in the final version. Here I have the styles available so far created as a full screen demo. So you can bail out of this video at this point if you wish and look at them yourself or hang around for about three minutes and view seven new slide styles. You will notice through this last part of the video we've used quite a number of the new animated text options we have a video on that subject too.